Murder, the U.S. Navy, and The Big Easy. Put them all together, and you get the hugely popular show that is NCIS New Orleans. And you can see it right here every Tuesday night on WKYT. Recently, our cameras were invited to the Crescent City for a behind-the-scenes look at what it's like to get the weekly drama on the air. Tonight, I'm taking you along for your very own all-access pass. Whoever's been watching us has been doing it for a while. The crime drama NCIS New Orleans is unique. NCIS. It's shot entirely on location in the Big Easy, making the city the real star. Veteran actor Scott Bakula heads up the cast as Special Agent Dwayne Pride. He says he feels right at home in New Orleans. The people here are fantastic. We're very well received and, and uh, uh, loved around the city from the locals. And then we have all the tourists come in and they all watch the show. So being on a popular show like this, it's uh, we get a lot of attention wherever we go. Bakula and fellow actors like Zoe McClellan put in long hours. It takes eight days working 12 to 15 hour shifts to shoot one episode. I feel like we're really lucky, you know? I mean, to be a spinoff of a show that's done and continues to do so well is, is a gift. The show is based on the real life former special agent Dwayne Swear. He now serves as a technical advisor on the show. We wanted to know what he thinks of the man playing him on TV. I wish I looked so good. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm, I'm touched and honored that uh, he gave us someone like that that uh, is portraying you. Action. A lot of the show is shot here, a soundstage outside the city where tourists aren't allowed, but our cameras were. Uh, so this uh, is. This is the morgue. Rob Kirkovich plays Sebastian, the quirky lab guy. I named the beast. A serious actor. Is lab not so serious? This thing, this is the thermoscientific. Don't know what that does. Being on set, it all looks so real, even down to the case files. But it isn't. I know. I looked. The squad room where the agents discuss cases is really the heart of the show. It was built to feel like it was in the middle of the French Quarter. Agent Pride loves to cook, so his kitchen is complete with Creole flair. And walk into his bar, and you think you're on Bourbon Street. As you know, things on set are not always as they appear. I'm here in the courtyard for NCIS New Orleans. It's always beautiful. It is always sunny, but check this out. There's really no sun here. In the morgue, we found CCH Pounder, who plays Dr. Loretta Wade. She's asked most often about how you get to play dead on her table. You have to die. And that could be pretty awful. You could be like in the swamps for a couple of days, covered in mud, and we will make you look like you've been there for a couple of days, and you may have to lie there still for quite a few hours. So a lot of people think like, oh, I'm going to be an NCIS. I'm going to play a dead body. Ten minutes. No. Not so glamorous. It's not huh? glamorous <laughs> at all. While the show's storylines might be over the top, it's the characters that really tie the show together. I did some pokey poke around. Look what I found. Characters like Patton Plame, the self described feisty computer whiz played by Daryl Chill Mitchell. He's in a wheelchair. It's no prop. Mitchell loves the message it sends to viewers. Just because what you see or a person might have, you know, a difference doesn't mean that they're not smart. They can't use their mind or they're not useful. Spoiler alert you're about to see more of Patton Plame out at crime scenes. They uh, designed me a little. Uh, van, which um, now I'm getting ready to go out on location and start uh, analyzing evidence. The team here at NCIS New Orleans is wrapping up a very successful second season. In popular. Ready to see what the Big Easy throws their way next. And the cast and crew won't have much downtime once the show wraps this season. NCIS New Orleans has already been picked up for a third season. Shooting for it should start sometime in July. One of the show's favorites, Lucas Black, who plays Chris LaSalle, was out on location while we were there, and we didn't get a chance to catch up with him. And by the way, he is the only one in the show with a true southern accent. Sam, he is from Alabama, so he has it down pat for sure. So when you watch the show from now on, it's going to take a oh my totally gosh. different look. Yeah, now I'm a fan for life for sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Amber. Very good.